His biggest focus, switching the point of attack. I watched a lot of game footage from last year against Valley Forge. If you recall, the field was actually like, it was a grass field, um, very downhill, not attractive at all. We actually played a really rough game. So the biggest point that we didn't do last year was switching the point of attack. So we're focusing on that tonight. We'll talk through what it means to do so. We'll watch a video from last year, and it's actually really fun, as I said, watching it um, and getting, getting to see you girls from last year. Uh, we'll go through tonight's training plan, as it'll imply what we'll do at um, during the game this weekend. I have a little scouting report to share on them, and then we'll go through some questions. So of this formation, we all know our number system. Who do we think is responsible for switching the point of attack? Who's our primary? Is it one person? No. Okay. Six, eight, ten. Okay. Who so would be our secondary? If we want to actually switch the point of attack. Sorry. Four and five. Okay, but we have central players already. So seven and eleven. So they're responsible for actually being on the wings to switch the point of attack. And then who else? Nine. Okay, keep going. Three, five, four, two. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so everyone's responsible for switching the point of attack. Oh, that was a trick question. <laughs> it was a trick question, but you still passed. So you can see who's responsible. Everyone is, right? And I would say Carly, Casey, whomever's in goal, you're also responsible for doing that, making sure that we call out so and so get wide. Um, okay, so how we switch the point of attack, right? So what are some key things, and they're right in front of you, to make this super easy. We keep, keep the ball, the ball moving, moving, right? So <laughs> off-ball movement is equally as important as just keeping the ball moving. Then we've got off-ball movement, recognizing space to attack, simple. So if, they're, if the defense is pinching central and we've got, um, let's say, Min on the outside looking to make that run, Let's utilize that space, but Min needs to recognize that that's actually the space to attack, right? And then ultimately, have you ever thought about this as the goal to switch the point of attack? No? Yes. No? So we're offsetting the opponent. That's huge. So everything that we do on the field is just primarily to offset the opponent. And then, let's th consider why we do this, right? First thing. Create, we create space out wide, really simple. How we do it, we dribble or pass forward. We've got 1v1 or 2v1 chances, right, by actually getting the ball wide or playing um, a simple give and go with the central player. Um, and then ultimately, what are we doing here? Creating scoring opportunities. And what do we talk about when, let's say Audrey has the ball out wide. Um, Audrey, instead of going to the touch line with the ball, where are you going? Uh, in What's your angle when you say 18? The corner? Like the top of the 18? Yeah. Like the corner. Oh, yeah. So that way, if anyone's ever playing on the outside, and after we've switched the point of attack, we want to go back in towards goal, right? So let's have that marker as the corner of the 18. So this is footage from last year. This was Valley Forge. This was Valley Forge, oh right? My gosh. So if you recall this game, we went up 1-0 and then lost 4-1 at the end of the game. This was really rough. It was a freaking game. It was a freaking game. It was horrible. Um, so this is a little bit, a minute and a half or so. And just watch where the play is happening and watch all of what we are doing on the pitch. And I, we are in where it was. We're in black. We're, we're attacking this goal, yeah. okay? Is this a field we have to play on again? No. Okay. But we are on a grass field, so. <laughs> I want to give you sound. And then after the game, they want us to like pray for them. Do you remember that? No way. Yes. So I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
minute and a half, it was only a minute and a half of the game. Take me through some of your thoughts. The entire thing's happening on the sports side. The entire thing's happening on the sports side. Okay. And well, it's also on the only the right side. Okay. Okay. This is about um, 25 to 30 minutes in on the first half. So you have perspective. What else? How many moments could you identify where we could have switched if you tried to count? Do we want to watch it again? Yeah. Okay. had the ball towards the uh, t after the throw in you could just hear Aaron's Aaron screaming like Morgan top Morgan top and then Morgan made that pass or she was able to pass it up to Aaron for yeah. Aaron to have some type of shot yeah. like I thought that was just really great communication and I thought we should like point it out yeah what's really what's really essential on our team is what we communicate is very useful information so as long as we maintain communication that is all we need all right, so then next, uh, how do I go back to that? Oh, is this okay for everyone? Yeah. yeah. All right, so what we're gonna focus on is actually a passing sequence. Um, in the games that we've played, what has been off um, when we're trying to maintain possession? First touch. Yeah, our first touch. So today, Lots of focus around our first touch and switching the point of attack. So bear with me because each slide is actually going to represent um, the change. So you have what's happening on this side remain the same on that side, okay? So on this side, you have the ball on the outside. So this player is going to pass to this player here and we're just going to look for a give and go. What we don't utilize is the space that we have after we pass the ball. So some of us just stay still when some of us are making moves. However, we all have to get in the habit of getting a little run in off after we pass the ball. 
So this is just a little give and go, right? It's going to be a lot, but we'll walk through it. So this person went to here, right, for that give and go? Mm -hmm. This player who played the ball, after she plays the ball, is going to make a run centrally to receive the ball. This player who came from this cone received the ball back here and looks for a longer pass, okay? All the elements that we need right now to actually switch the point of attack, sorry. So rhythm, so you know, if you were here, you just replace the person here. If you were here, you replace the person here, okay? So now that person that made the run here is receiving after that player played the long ball, receiving that short ball, okay? Everyone's with me for now? Yes. Okay? So she, she receives the ball. What's so essential about this pass right here? Look at the angle of it. What did we notice the angle? It's not straight. It's not straight. What else is it not? Think direction, yeah. So we actually went in the opposite direction of where we were going. So this player is playing the ball backwards, back to our line there. After this player receives the ball, you have this person on this cone dropping. So what is this getting into the habit of? Opening up, finding that space and dropping. So this player plays the ball wide, and after playing the ball again, makes a run for a give and go, okay? So this player dropped, received the ball, and simply looked for the give and go right here, okay? At the same time, what we need to start getting used to is making runs prior to the ball reaching us. We tend to just wait. So this person is now responsible for dropping, so we're gonna pretend like she's almost offside, so she's dropping to make a curved run here to receive the ball, and guess what? Now we simply cycle through again. So it's just a simple pass and move exercise. We will do a walkthrough prior to starting out there, but this is just a way of getting your first touch in, getting off ball movement in, making sure that we maintain our run after we pass the ball, looking a few steps ahead, being able to look backwards, and then continue the cycle. Okay, any questions? Just so you see, after the warm up, we're going to play a little 8v8. We'll play towards the attacking team towards two goals, and then coming out towards one goal. And why do we have two goals in? Just wide. Switch the point of attack, keep it simple, get wide. Okay, so our opponent for Saturday, um, after watching a lot of the video from last year, recognized major, major things that we need to be aware of as we head into the game. Um, number eight and 11, very fast players provide a lot of speed for them up top. Um, number 13, I don't know if any of you remember her, she's relatively a big player that will basically smash you if, you if you run into her. So we need to be strong in whatever challenge we face in this game. 15, same thing, bulldozer. And, I, and, I'm, not, and I'm not saying that in a, in a mean manner, I'm just warning you, this is what you are going to face on Saturday. They play in a 1-4-4-2, so a couple more players up top, so defense be ready, you'll have another player in the box. What we need to do, because their first touch is relatively weak according to the video, provide an accurate pass to your teammate. So in today's warm-up, you need to focus on your pass to your teammate, the angle of it, the pace of it. If it's on the ground or not, how can my player control it? Accurate pass. They did not, did not like getting pressure on the ball. So their first touch is very, very weak. So what does that mean? We pressure them on their first touch. And I will tell you, we will win the ball 100% of the time when we do. 
Last thing, strong goalkeeper, but she'll fumble a lot. So what does that mean if you're shooting, if you're attacking? Follow the ball. Follow it. Crash the net. Crash the net, rebounds. Anything we need to do to get numbers in the box on a shot, get them in, because we will get rebounds. Last thing, not our style of play, because we actually aren't a very physical group, but Saturday, be prepared, be physical. You need to be strong. You will get tossed around, okay? But we will do what we can to earn our penalties, but at the same time, you need to be strong on the ball, okay? We don't want injuries. We don't want anyone to have any major things that reoccur. So please be physical. Any questions? <laughs> I hope it works. Oh man! <laughs> Come on, work. It's supposed to be a. Yeah. It's a gift, and she's just like, she just got it. She just got it cut, and she's like, like looking at it. All right. Any questions? Do we want to see the warm up again, or do you feel we'll walk through it and get moving? Walk through it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, you. I literally said it.